guys, it's Jordan Byers, and today we are going to be brutally and honestly reviewing Gerard Cosmetics. So I have a bunch of different types of lipstick products from the brand. I have a setting spray, and I also have a highlight. Um, let's just get straight into this review. So the very first thing we're going to try today is obviously the highlighter because I can't continue this video without a pop and highlighter. Currently I have no highlighter on and I'm f I, f I don't feel like myself. So this is the Gerard Cosmetics Star Powder and it's in the color Grace. This is what the packaging looks like. I like the packaging. Gold bougie extra in your face. I like stuff like that. So then it opens up, you got the little mirror, and then the, you have this like protective plastic thing. And I actually like the concept of this so that it like keeps the powder like all compact. If you like travel or anything, you know it's not gonna break. So first of all, packaging is fantastic. Definitely like the packaging. A plus for packaging, but the product is the real breadwinner here. So we really need to see, is this highlighter popping or is it not? So I'm going to take my Anastasia A23 brush and do a little, I never, mm, pat a bit of the excess. I don't wanna be losing too much product cause I like to blind. Okay, let's just go ahead. Uh, hold up. I didn't even wet the brush or anything. This is just... Girl? Okay, as you can see, I'm feeling myself now. This is definitely a pop-in highlight. Look at this glow, though. Okay, so next I have two Hydra Matte Long Wearing Liquid Lipsticks and these are in the color Nude and Invasion. So I'm going to test both of these, try them on, see how they wear, see how they feel, and give my review in one second. Is it just me or is this a dupe for Kylie Dirty Peach? Hmm. No, no. No, Dirty Peach is definitely a lot darker, but I just want to show a little comparison. This is a really pretty nude. So this is the nude from Gerard Cosmetics and this is Dirty Peach from Kylie. It is a definitely more toned down orange tone, but it is really pretty and wearable and I like it so far. It doesn't feel as, you know, cement like, like the Kylie ones. Like I definitely think that the Kylie matte lipsticks literally cement your lips and don't move at all. And sometimes I don't like that because when I'm like doing something all day, I don't really like the feeling of like, cement lipstick on your face you know what I mean so this is more of a creamy feeling I don't think it would be transfer proof I mean I I do think this would transfer so let's test yes it does transfer but from that little transfer test it didn't really remove too much of the product around my lips so so far so good but that may be just because it is a light color so let's go ahead and try on this one called invasion and see you know a darker tone see how it works with a darker color okay so this is what invasion looks like and mm, it's a little bit sticky, but then again, it did just finish drying. So I do like the color. It is really pretty. Uh, in person, it is a little, little bit patchy, 
but nothing like too noticeable. It's just noticeable. Bleh. It's just noticeable because I'm literally looking at my lips like intensely inspecting the pigmentation. So that's just when I notice the little bit of patchiness here, here, and like just like there you can see it. But nothing that I would dismiss as an awful product because I only noticed that because I'm super intensely looking at the lipstick. Um, other than that, it's really nice. Let's do a little transfer test. Barely anything, so. You could be kissing somebody with this on. Just saying. So now I'm going to test a metal matte liquid lipstick and this is in the color Double Shot. Usually metals are the hardest to formulate or the hardest to get a good pigmentation, not patchy. They're really hard, let me say, that they usually never work out for me. So I'm definitely really, 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 really curious. <laughs> Let's go ahead and swatchy swatch. Okay, so so far it is a little bit patchy. Let me bring you in so you can see. It is a little bit patchy as you can see, but I feel like you could work with it with your finger. You know, it actually looks pretty good if you work with it with your finger and then you can go back in with a little detail brush and some concealer to clean up where your finger kind of went out of line. So, First impressions, it is patchy if you just go in with a brush. But if you go in with a finger, you know, kind of blend it out evenly just because I feel like it's really easy to blend a product in on your lips, like a thin layer of it with your finger. Um, and then it'll be pretty fine. But if you are looking for a flawless one application, don't have to get in with your fingers and then a brush after, type of matte metallic lipstick, I don't think that you should get this. Okay, so now let's try an actual lipstick bullet. This is just a lipstick and it is in the color Vintage Rose. It's not like a creamy lipstick. I feel like it does have a more, it's, it's not specified as a matte lipstick, but it does dry down matte or like apply matte. As you can see, there's no shine or anything or just like a teeny tiny bit amount of shine. Um, it feels really comfortable on the lips. Uh, it was a little bit hard to apply just because it was, it is such a dry consistency. Like you kinda had to work with it a little bit, but in the long run I feel like it would be really long wearing because of that. So, what do you guys think? Do you guys, what do you guys think? Let me know down below, cause, hmm, I don't know. Okay, so now onto the last lip product, and this is a Supreme Lip Cream, and it is in the color Wild Berry Tart. So, I like the packaging. I like the simple gold packaging. If I ever came out with cosmetics, girl, you know that packaging would be so extra. <sighs> Y'all just wait, don't sleep on me. Don't sleep on me. Okay, so first impressions, it was kind of finicky to work with. Uh, I feel like it got super pigmented and clumpy in some areas and then was like super thin and light in others. To be completely honest with you, it's not that pigmented. Like I can definitely see my natural like lip through this. It's not, you know, the best pigmentation for a lip gloss, lip cream. It's not a lip gloss, so it's not like clear. It's a lip cream. So I feel like it should be more pigmented than what it is, but it feels good on the lips. It's not sticky at all. It's just a nice, thin type lip product, but it is not as pigmented out as I was kind of hoping for. So that was the only setback and I feel like it does get a little bit 
you know, product build up in certain areas along the lips, so then it's darker in some places, but that can be fixed with a quick little like rub with your finger to even the product out and yada yada yada. So that was our last lip product. Now, ooh, ooh, ooh. let's talk about the last Gerard Cosmetics product that I have for today, and this is the Slay All Day Setting Spray, and I got it in the scent lavender so he has a bunch of different scents that you can get but I chose lavender so I'm just gonna go ahead and spray this all over my face and tell you how it feels and whatnot right off the bat that leaven lavender the hell the hell Right off the bat, that lavender scent is like in your face lavender. If you've ever smelled like lavender essential oil, it's like super strong. That's exactly what this smells like. It's super strong, but I'm not even mad at it because I do like the smell of lavender. So right off the bat, it does feel a little bit tingly. Like my face is feeling like kind of tingly in the parts of my face that are kind of dry at the moment because I have pretty dry script. Bleh. pretty dry skin so I do feel like some tingles on my face like I don't know if I should be concerned about that I don't really think I am I think I'm thinking that this is literally just made with like essential oils as the scent and lavender essential any type of essential oil if you just put it on like skin it some of them will start to feel like burning like if you put a cinnamon one or like peppermint or in this case lavender if you put like straight essential oil on your skin it can tend to give you like a burning sensation and that's kind of what I'm feeling right now um, not not painful or anything just I can feel some tingles so I really don't have a problem with it, but I'm just saying this so that you know um, if you are a bit sensitive, then you will feel a little bit of a tingle, but it's nothing to be like, ugh, don't buy this, like, my face is burning off. No. I'm still living for this highlight though, like, can we still see this highlight on my face, like, beaming? Yes. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below what other types of brands um, you want to see me review because you know your girl always tells the truth. Sometimes it's savage, sometimes it's sweet, really depends on the product. You know I always tell the truth about everything that I'm thinking when it comes to products. So go ahead and leave some brands that you would like to see me test and thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow my other social medias because I like to stay close to my Joby squad whenever I can. I like to communicate with y'all. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I didn't forget. I never forget you memesters on Twitter. Y'all are the best. Okay. See you in the next video.